Shout out to all grade 10 students out there. Welcome back to my video. So this time guys, we will be discussing the geometric sequence and we're going to look for the A sub N or the last term. So here in a geometric sequence, negative 6, negative 12, negative 24, negative 48 and so on. Which term is negative 768. So to look for that, we need to apply the formula. A sub n equals a sub 1 times common ratio raised to the power of n minus 1. So since we have already here the last term, because it is it is asked in the problem, so we need to write it here, negative 768. And then our first term, or a sub 1, that, the value is negative 6. And then to get the common ratio, so we need to divide the sequence backward. So if you divide that, you get positive 2, when you divide that, you get positive 2, divide positive 2. So our common ratio is positive 2. And then, our problem here is to look how many terms are there in this sequence to get the value of 768. So our n is still unknown, minus 1. Then, negative 768, negative 6 times 2, and minus 1. So guys, we will divide this by negative 6. Why? It's because negative 6 is uh, what we call our numerical coefficient. So that's the first process to do. So cancel out, cancel out, bring down 2 raised to the power of n minus 1. And here, when you divide this, you get the answer of uh, 128. Okay? Positive 128. And then... So here guys, we have the exponential form and in the left side, we have the whole number or the base. So we need to transform 128 into exponential form where the base is 2 so that they would be equal here. Okay? So and then after that, we need to think an exponent. Kung saan, well, if we multiply 2 by itself, so the result will be 128. So we will uh, try to experiment how many times we need to multiply 2 by itself to get 128. So we'll start 2, okay. Okay, 2 times 2, we got 4 times 2, 8 times 2, 16 times 2, 32. So hindi pa siya nakaabot doon sa 128. We need to continue times 2, that is 64. Continue times 2, that is 128. And then we'll count how many 2's are there. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, which means the exponent of 2 is 7. Okay, and then as you can see, we already have equal base. So, we can cancel out that one for the shortcut. Then bring down 7 equals n minus 1. After that, combine like terms. So, we need to transpose negative 1 to the left side by adding the, the opposite sign of negative 1 that is positive 1 on the other side positive 1 so we'll cancel out this bring down n 7 plus 1 we have 8 so which means there are 8 terms in this sequence to get negative 768 so we will check that guys if we got the correct answer so here we already have 4 sequence or terms okay so we need to continue that so we have here the 5th term and then the 6th term and then the 7th term and then we have here the 8th term so our 8th term is this neg negative 768 so we'll start here multiplying by the common ratio our common ratio is 2 right so 2 times negative 48 it will give you negative 96 negative 96 times the common ratio of 2 you'll get negative 192 times negative uh, times 2 the common ratio so 2 times 2 we get 4 2 times 9 we got 18 carry 1 so 384 negative and then 2 times negative 384 it would give you negative 768 so it only shows that our answer guys here this term uh, this term is the eighth term of the sequence Okay, so if you encounter problem like this, 
there are already uh, sequences and we already have the last term. We need to look for the number of terms. Okay, so if you have questions or clarifications about this problem, you can comment down below. Thank you so much for watching.